All right, month 14 of social media marketing. Jeez, it's been a while, but um, it's kind of a, it's one of, I guess it was one of those months where you just make a lot of mistakes. Um, and I, I think it was a good month because I learned a lot, but you know, when you go so quick, you, f- you kind of stumble a bit. And um, you know, one of the huge things for me throughout the month is I hired way too quick. So I was hiring a bunch of people when I shouldn't have, and um, it kind of just delayed the process by like two months. So it was a huge, huge learning mistake um, throughout the month. But uh, otherwise, I think I'm on the right track now. You know, again, just kind of using this all as like documenting every single month because I know when I, you know, look forward and it's like doing 100,000, 200,000, 300,000 a month, um, I can look back now and just be like, damn, I was stupid. But um. No, I think it was a it was a good month. Um, honestly, like for anyone who is starting um, in the online space, like it definitely doesn't take the you know the faint of heart or however that saying goes. You know, it 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 takes a it takes a certain person to do it. Um, and I think I also realized like the when you go all in, you it's it's a different game, right? Because I think a lot of people, like for sure, over ninety percent, are like they have one foot in, one foot out. Okay, and that's like it's one of the worst things you can do because you're delaying so much time and you're also just, you could be wasting money. You could be just wasting time because you could be doing other things that might be better. I don't know. Right. But there's a, I think there's a feeling you get when you start to go all in into the business and it's just, you know it. And that's just when you scale hard. Um, so I feel like that's kind of what I'm approaching because I think I look at a lot of people and they're just, you know, half in, half out. And, you know, they, they wonder why they're still at the same spot. And I think it's, it comes down to how committed they are and they might say they're committed, but ultimately I don't, it might, that really might not be it. Right. And also going throughout the month, like realizing that client results, like having clients that come to you and say, Hey, I'm not happy with your results are literally only an expectation thing, right? Like churn rate, you can go down to, you could go down to like no churn at all. If you set the right expectations, Um, like I've developed like over a hundred slide, just deck of just setting the right expectations on an onboarding call. Um, and I think that is what's going to really, really decrease the churn rate because a lot of clients just go with you. They, they expect the world and you know, like you, you probably use it in your sales calls, like all these other agencies, you know, they, they promise you the world and whatever. Right. But it's probably what you're doing too. Like you need to be setting the like realistic expectations for how to actually go about, um, the next, you know, two, three, four months, whatever you're working with the client on. And, um, you know, it was a huge gap. And I, I realized it, especially in my niche, like I work with real estate agents and real estate agents have egos and, you know, you kind of got to be careful with how much are you saying, because that might be used against you. Um, so developing a good system for actual good expectations is a hundred percent what any agency out there should do. Like running an agency, if you think about it, it's super simple. Like it is the systems and the back end side of stuff that can be confusing. But if you can set clients good expectations, you're fine at the end of the day. And, um, you know, I think going over and taking sales calls, a bunch of calls, paid ads are 100% what agencies should be doing. Now, if you're in the phase of pitching free trials and all that, okay, I would do, you know, IGDMs, emails, all that sort of stuff, right? But if you're actually trying to scale at a fast pace, you need to be doing paid ads um, because you have a consistent, you know, you, you, you you can have a consistent how much you spend per booked call and you can do all the math on the back end of actually what's realistic to hit, to hit certain numbers um, within your business. And I've been doing paid ads. I think, I I mean, I've talked about it like most videos I've been on um, for a while now, but I think it's one of the biggest things you can do um, if you leverage and you find out and you crack paid ads to actually scale because you can have like nine calls a day and I'd hope you'd close one. Right. Um, and that's a close a day. That's the, like, you could say that's like four or five clients n- every week. That's new. Um, so hundred percent, if you can stay consistent with paid ads, keep publishing new ads, like, you know, trying to crack what's the best targeting, everything like that. It's worth it. hundred percent. And that's what I figured out. And yeah, I mean like this month, I feel like, I feel like I want to post more on here, but it's just been one of those things where I've just been kind of doing and juggling so much. Um, it's probably not really a good thing. I think it was just needed. Like, I think I needed to actually drain in my head. Like 
these are things you can't do. These are things you can do, um, and 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 so on. So, I mean, this is this is pretty much it. This is just really just documentation. But if you find any value from these videos, you know for sure, you know, join my Discord. It's in the link description. Uh, you can probably at me in there or whatever you want. I'll respond to you. And um, and yeah, no, honestly, it's just the idea of going all in is is just what's going to propel you. Um, and you know, when I look at the people who do go all in, it's as bad as it sounds, you know, they're out of school, they drop out, they do whatever they can to fully put their mind on here and really like nothing else, no distractions, nothing. And you wonder why they hit results so quick. And it's just because, well, what else are they doing? Right? Like there's nothing else they do. And as depressing as that might sound, that's, that's how it is. And you know, they save themselves years in just a year that's boring and probably depressing uh, from the outside is saves them say 10 years. So that's kind of the phase I'm entering. Um, so I'm kind of being a little bit inactive here and there, but um, continuing to scale, continuing to, you know, stay consistent on these videos. You know, these are just kind of becoming regular at this point. I've been doing it for, you know, seven, eight months, I think, or over that. So um, yeah, if you guys want to join my discord link in the description and uh, yeah, that's it. So I'm out.